and thank you for joining us on this exciting tour of some of the most dangerous threats chemical research has ever come up with. Today, we will come in contact with four harmful chemical agents that you need to be wary of for future reference. The following images are not actual representations of soldiers being affected by damaging agents, but mere dramatizations of symptoms that would likely be experienced, so don't be alarmed. We're going to start this enlightenment off with the original chemical warfare agent, chlorine, was gas first used in World War I by being spread through wind turbines, causing pandemic casualties. Exposure can occur through skin contact, eye contact, or inhalation. It is fast acting and will cause a number of visible symptoms. Victims might experience eye and throat irritation, <coughs> causing redness. Also, maybe some excessive salivation. A violent cough can develop at higher exposure levels. <coughs> along with muscle weakness and abdominal discomfort. Oof, that even made my stomach curl a little bit. Other symptoms may include lightheadedness or headaches. Death from chlorine is more uncommon because to be dangerous, concentration needs to be over 50 parts per million. Our next delightful agent is the notorious mustard gas, a vesicant or blistering agent. It can be used as a vapor or used to poison a water source. Symptoms from skin contact can appear within two hours, first as redness and itching, then into thick yellow blisters covered in mucous membranes, giving it its worrisome name. Juicy. <laughs> On top of that, some may experience blindness for up to 10 days. Developed in 1938, originally in Germany as a pesticide, sarin proved to be an effective nerve agent similar to other pesticides known as organophosphates, but much more lethal. Symptoms from the odorless liquid or gas can appear within seconds. After exposure, you may experience a runny nose, watery eyes, and increased urination. It will likely cause severe vomiting and diarrhea. Larger exposure to sarin will result in a loss of consciousness and convulsions. In cases of respiratory failure, death. Incapacitants such as triquinoclidinol, benzolate, christened BZ for short, are a more recent development from the 1960s, but have been duplicated by Iraqi research and have no documented widespread uses. After inhaling or ingesting, the first symptoms to occur is extreme restlessness, manifested in spasms of the extremities and bird-like flapping of the arms. Oh. After a period of semi-consciousness, the afflicted will regain movement, but will continue to see odd hallucinations. Gretchen, time to get up. What are you doing here? I'm a figment of your imagination. Although it has extreme symptoms, it does not have as many fatalities. All of these chemical agents can be a danger to you. Once again, thank you for joining me on this exciting exploration of chemical warfare. Goodbye now!